Right guys, now I'm going to show you how to make the screw for our maze game. Um, now basically the screw involved, we're going to put a cross at the top for the, where the screwdriver would go and a thread and a thread along here as well. And basically the way we do this, if I go to the sketch here and just highlight the sketch, is that we make a profile and we revolve it around an axis. So this is the profile we're going to draw in a moment and we revolve it around an axis like this to create our shape. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to do this as a new file. And we go to the top corner and go new. Again, we're going to use metric and standard millimeter. And we're going to get a new file like this. So now what we need to do is go create 2D sketch. And I'm going to select this work plane. And to start us off, I'm just going to draw a rectangle from the center up here. And then I'm going to make that just 8 millimeters long, which is going to seem really, really tiny. But there it is. Okay. And then I'm going to make this part here 2 millimeters. The reason is because this will become the overall diameter, that's just the radius there. But once we revolve it around, it will become 4 millimeters, which is the size of the hole that we've created. Okay. So now, now that I've done these measurements, we just need to draw the top part of the screw. We're going to do that on here. I'm just going to use this to pan it over a little bit. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the line tool to come out a little and we're just going to go a millimeter out and then what we need is I'm, I'm basically I'm just going to put a flat line and it appear for now now I'm not too first how far up you do this line at this stage but I'm just going to go here if you want a precise measurement we can put a measurement in we can say the distance between this line and this line Let's go with 1.5. And there we go, we've got that. And now we're going to create an arc between the two, from here to here. And then we're going to complete the whole profile by taking this line down. Okay, so now we've got a whole profile, but we've also got a few lines that we don't need now. So we're going to use the trim tool to get rid of some of those lines. So if I hit trim and I go here, I should be able to get rid of it. So it's asking me to remove the dimension. If we read that again, remove the dimension to perform the operation. So it wants me to remove this dimension here. So that's fine. I can do that now. Oh, maybe it's this Let's get rid of all the dimensions just to see. And now let's see if it allows the trim that. There we go. So the dimensions were over constraining the diagram, but now we've got what we need. Okay. So what we should have now, if we go finish 2D sketch, we have this. And what we need to do now is we need to revolve. So we're going to select the profile. And then here we need to select the axes we want to revolve around. Now this is the axes we'll use. And you can see straight away it's giving us the revolution there. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And there we go, we've got our basis for our screw thread. Now what we need to do is put the cross in the top. And that's why we've given it a flat edge on this surface. We gave it a flat edge. That's why we did that, so that we can easily a new sketch on there. You can't, it's very difficult to do a new sketch on a curved face, but because we've got this flat face, it makes it very easy. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to dimension that rectangle. I'm going to make it five. And by 0.5. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is try and position this right in the middle. And this is where we add some constraints. So we're going to add a vertical constraint here. And we're going to find the center point of this line, which is where it goes green. 
and then we're going to select the middle part here and that adjusts it so it's in the middle and now we need to do the same but horizontally so we're going to use a horizontal constraint which is here the green dot there and then this one and we've got it all central now which is what we need I'm then going to do the same in this direction I'm going to dimension it the exact same so that's five this here is 0 0.5 and then just to align it correctly I'm going to use the constraint tool again so I'm going to use the horizontal constraint here from the oh, middle point we do this side to there oh in fact if that happens it just means you've used the wrong constraint tool there so I'm going to undo that I'm going to set the vertical one and do this one vertically that's correct there and then that will go across and now I'm going to do the horizontal one so from here to the middle point there and now I've got it all in line and as we want it okay so now all I need to do is trim these lines in the middle that I don't no longer need and let's see it lets us trim it this time it doesn't want us to delete the dimensions it's happy with that okay so now we can go finish sketch we have our drawing now of how we want it now as you can see the drawing is above the curved part in places but that will be fine because what we're going to do is we're going to extrude I'm just going to get this view right so I can see it we're going to extrude this profile we don't want it going up we want it to go down we don't want it to go that far down so we're just going to do two millimeters in fact, we're going to just do one. And there we go. There is our screw fit. Okay. It's as simple as that. Now then, to add the thread on here, all we need to do is click the thread tool here, and it puts the image of the thread on for us, and we can apply that. And we've got a really professional kind of looking screw there. Okay. And that is all you need to do for the screw. And that's it made. I'm going to save that. And then event what we're going to show you next is the assembly, how you assemble all the parts together. But now once you've got your MDF base, you've got your acrylic sheet and your and your screw, we can then assemble them all together and that'll be in the next video. Thanks guys.